Welcome to today's theme park adventure. Today's theme park adventure takes us over to Disney Springs to see all of the brand new Disney Christmas merchandise and brand new decorations. So make sure you do hang out with us on our adventures today at Disney Springs. everyone, it is Mitchell, aka The Walker in Orlando. Welcome back over to Disney Springs and welcome to the first adventures of Christmas season here at Disney. As you're fully aware, once November 1st hits, it is full on Christmas season now. So we are gonna be heading on over to the world of Disney today to check out all of the Christmas merchandise they have to offer, show you guys all of it, how much it costs and anything else, do all that stuff. And also just kind of walk around Disney Springs, see if they've got anything uh, fancy for Christmas. So make sure you guys do hang out with us. Leave a like if you are ready for Christmas season. Subscribe if you haven't do so, done so, because we got a lot of Christmas adventures coming your way. All right, gonna make our way into World of Disney. And I actually had one of those weird thoughts where I remember it being when the World of Disney first reopened after the like everything reopened, that you had to like get either into a virtual queue or stand in a little super long line because they didn't allow very many people in here. So, but walking right on in, already got the evidence of Christmas because one, red and green lights and Christmas trees right over there. Okay, this is really cool. This is actually super nice because it's a light long sleeve, but it looks like the castle is sketch, but with little fireworks in the background. It is a part of the Disney 100 collection. And I really find the 100th collection actually is really stinking cute and really cool to look at. So they kind of have Christmas a little bit scattered a little bit, but here's some of the first stuff we found. One rope. But it's like winter Christmas, so it's not fully Christmas, but like more winter. Uh, this is a really cool ja uh, shirt for $40. And it wouldn't be Disney merch if Crocs were not involved. So you got these fuzzy ones, which Kayla had a pair of these last year and really uncomfy with it. So 65 bucks for those, but interesting. But then you have like slippers right here. These are $35 for like some house shoes you could wear. And these again are also fluffy. Maybe the crease of the Crocs stress me out because I don't expect Crocs to be fuzzy on the inside. Then you got kind of this nice, just simple long sleeve for $45. So then you've got this lounge fly, which we've already seen this lounge fly when they, some of the merchandise we saw originally when we were at Magic. Uh, and this is $89. And I think this is one of the cooler ones because it has a stitch where it goes back and forth. Plus I love the print. I love the print on the inside. This is such a cute one. Now, one of the cool things they did is they have included Hanukkah stuff. So if you do celebrate Hanukkah, Disney has you covered. They got this really cool button down, which, oh, this actually is super comfy. $60 for that. What is this? It's just another cup. It's the straw. It's got a straw cover. Interesting. I did see that. Someone had to put left over there. How much is that? 50. 50. Oh, yeah. But then also to include with all the Hanukkah stuff, they, this is really cool. This lounge fly. That's so good. I love the fact that Disney has included that stuff this year. Someone ripped the price tag off, which I have a feeling this is like $90. And then they have Mickey with the happy Hanukkah stuff. I love the little spa the sparkly blue shorts that he's got on. And then they have a nice fun shirt. This shirt is $35. Little kid shirt says celebrate Hanukkah. And that is $22 for kids. Then, of course, they have ears, which I oh, these ears light up. That's so cool actually. So you can see right here it lights up. And these are only $35 and they light up. That's not a bad deal, actually. So this is all part of their home collection of stuff. They got this really cool um, water cup, which actually is kind of real. They got a home cup right there. They got like container to hold stuff and soap dispenser. Nothing else they do have is they do have some stockings for sale as well. And I do like these a lot. Don't think you get these embroidered, but $35 for that. And then if you want a wreath, they've got special wreaths right here. And that's going to be $60. And it looks like it lights up as well. And they also have for the Hanukkah, so they have this long sleeve jacket as well. And I really do like the fact that they've done this. Though I am not a fan of white because I literally would get it dirty in about two seconds flat. 
So only $60 for that. Again, not bad. So then they also have a ornament set as well. It's really cool for $50 for that. And then another ornament set, just random little, like the ball ones and $40 for those. So now you're starting to get into some of the Christmas stuff, but look at this lounge fly. Like, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I do like the coloring, but the plaid kind of throws me off a little bit. See, how much are you going to be? You are going to be $78. Not too bad. I thought it'd be more because usually when they have ears, they're usually $85. Oh yeah, that shirt is really cool actually. I do love that one. They actually had a like Halloween version of it as well. And I think it's part of the uh, deal that you can get adult tees $25 each if you get two. So spend $50 and you get two t-shirts. And then they have the Jolly Holly Days to You shirt which again normally is $30 a piece but I do love all the different characters and everything on it but it is dated so it's the only thing I do have a thing with and of course you got the matching PJs that you and your entire family can wear you buy this as a set $60 gives you a shirt and pants you have a slipper and sock set that can go with that which is $45 so not horrible so look at Mickey and Minnie as well do love those. So Mickey is 30 and I'm pretty sure Minnie is also going to be $30. Yep, $30. And then to continue on with the matching, you do have the youth slipper sock set as well for $35. And again, the matching set as well for the nightgown if you would like that. Or if you like, they also have a small a shirt and pant option. Well, they, of course, they have a countdown calendar going on as well, which you can actually buy the same exact one right underneath. And the fact that it, they do have someone who is taking care of it, so it actually is 48 days till Christmas. But if you're looking to buy one, it's in this box, and it's going to be $55. So, kind of expensive for a countdown clock, if you ask me. But, you know, it's usually Disney. What I do love is I do love the giant Christmas ornament bulb stuffed and stuffed thing so it's $45 I don't like it anymore and then they do have they do have the tree topper and I think I saw this when we were at, Dis at Magic Kingdom but didn't really look at it too closely because it is $40 for that okay is it me or does it seem like the snow globes just aren't like the big ticket thing they used to be back in the day like, I feel like snow globes were always something that people saw but now they just feel like they never see anymore so I don't know, I do love a good snow globe though, especially like where it looks like it's snowing. Uh, that's going to be $40. And then you got this wreath made out of uh, ornaments, like round ball ornaments, which are $40. So if you want this and that, $80. I think it's a little excessive to me. Oh, I just got glitter all over my hands now. Well, this is something that me and Caleb kind of need, and we do need a tree skirt, but probably not this one. But it is very, very cute, though. I will tell you, that is... Ooh, look at the giant buttons. Well, that's what it looks like when it's fully out, and it is reversible, so you either have the white stripes, white and red stripes, or you just have red. And that's going to be $80. Yo, that's expensive. Ooh, check this Deck the Hall things out. Now it looks like, oh yeah, it does look like it moves. It says Deck the Hall's on it. It's gonna be right down there. And this thing is going to cost $75 for that. So, yowzers. And they do have this reversible blanket as well where you got the front with the gang and everything. And then on the back, just a simple white with ornaments hanging. I think the last time I saw this, I think it was like, it was super expensive. I can't even find the price for it. It's probably like on the inside of this. So I expect probably 40, it's $45, it's right there. And then you got plenty of ornaments as well. You've got this Jolly Holidays. And it's not dated, so it's actually really nice. $25 for that. You got Minnie dressed up in her little cute outfit with her candy cane and a train going around from underneath her. It's going to be $30 for that. Ooh, be really careful not to break anything. And then you've got Mickey and his ornament with a present. And it says holiday greetings on it. He is also $30 as well. Well, then you also have this stocking of Mickey like he was in the ornament with the 
present and you can see it looks like it's supposed to be spinning. $35. And then Minnie dressed up in her outfit as well. $35 for that. And then you got plenty of ornaments. You got this Mickey coming out of Oh Boy book. You got Stitch coming out of the Laughing All the Way. You got Cheshire, which says do not open until Christmas. You got another collectible set. You got this ornament set right here of the Fab Five. $50 for that. And then you've got another ornament set of some assortment of characters from Dumbo, Simba, all the way down to Stitch in the back corner. Okay, $50 for that. Check out these guys. These ornament of Dumbo coming out of the ornament. And then you got Pinocchio coming out as well. And look, Simba! That's so cute. These are all $27. And then you got a lovely ceramic bowl as well. Of all the different characters and everything. I'm trying to be really careful with this thing. And that's going to be $30 for that. And it's very heavy. And then you've got measuring cups. Actually, I didn't know what this was when I first walked up, but it's measuring cups. So you got a quarter cup, third a cup, half a cup, and a cup. All in this Christmas tree. $40 for that. And then it looks like you got this pie tin as well here. Well, not tin. Ceramic pie baking sheet. Which is going to be $30. And then check out Chip and Dale as wine stoppers. Like the thing you use to put in wine when you pop the cork. $25 for those two. And then you got these little ceramic plates. Set of four of them. And they are going to cost $40. And then you've got this gingerbread scented candle in an ornament. It's actually kind of cute, actually. And that is going to cost $40. Once again, these Crocs are something else. I just, the, it's, the, it's the, the, the Christmas present on the very top of them, on the toe. I just feel like when you wiggle it, your toe, I feel like that's going to wiggle, and that makes me very uncomfy. And you do have this apron, which it says the most magical time of the year, at $35. Some hand towels that say, Jolly Holidays to you. $20 for those. And then you've got some, oh, I thought it was bigger, some cookie cutters. $25 for those. I do love that they have included some ears that I possibly could wear with the Mickey Mouse on, ha, on the top. So I think these are gonna be, normally these are $35 as well. And then they've got this sparkly long sleeve with Mickey and Minnie sitting around some presents as Walt Disney World on it. And that's going to be, see if I find the price on that, $65 for that. Okay, so these are cute. So what these are is they are, they hold your cutlery when you put them at the table. So when you decorate your table and you're setting your table, you put these out and you put your knife, your spoon, and your fork in them to hold. So $30 for that. Check out this mug and coaster set. So you got the mug back there, which is the same style they have. But the fact that that's the coaster it sits on, it's actually really funny. I don't know why, that kind of makes me laugh. And then you've got, looks like where you put a candle in and it flickers for $30. And then just for a lovely, six, simple $65, you can get a cookie jar in the shape of Mickey as a snowman. I don't know why it's $65. It's probably because it's ceramic. So then you've got the ears that kind of go along with the lounge fly. So you could get the ears, this lounge fly, and then this spear jersey, which has a sparkly Walt Disney World on it with the lights around it, and the gang all around a tree. And the front has Tinkerbell on. Oh, it actually wraps all the way around as well. Continues all the way to the very front. So $70, $80 for that. I really think Spear Jersey is going to be like $100 in like three years. And then to add on to the Spear Jersey, you've got this one, which has like little scenes and everything. It looks like that they're different patterns on every Spear Jersey. So then it'd be unique to the one that you buy. Not a fan of this blue though. I'm not sure why. And then all the glow stuff you like and bubble wand. Maybe even a Snoop wand. And then you've got another just simple Walt Disney World Christmas shirt. I mean, this is kind of cute. I really wish they had a button down because then you can wear this with the button down as well. And this is light. They've gone, they've gone away from the super heavy shirts and are starting to wear the thin shirts. So $35 for that. I spoke too soon. They do have a button down shirt, but it is blue. Not 
this blue I kind of like, but I don't like the lighter blue that's on the Spirit jersey, but you usually love Disney button downs. Only $60, that's not bad, and it's light. That's what I do appreciate, but I think something I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to stitch ugly sh uh, uh, sweater, ugly sweater probably. Well, and then there's, here's Kayla's favorite character, Eeyore, dressed up in little pajamas. That's so cute. And he cost $40. Yeah, pretty much too much. All this stuff's too much. I'm not a fan. I don't know why. I don't like how the sleeves are on him. But he's cute. $30. And didn't quite get to the stuff on the back wall back there. That's just more of a more generic type thing. So they have so much Christmas merchandise. I don't even know what to do with it. Like there's just so much of it. So you really have to take time to really figure out what you want. Look through it all, figure out what you want because it can get a little overwhelming. Look, there's a cup Kayla was talking about. Well, then there is some Star Wars merchandise. They have the R2 S4M. <gasps> Look at that sweater. Yeah, Mary Sithmas. The sweater is really cute too, or sweatshirt. Oh my gosh. It's like a comic strip. Oh, I do love that. And that is $60 for the comic strip shirt. And then you've got, I've got a warm, feeling about this that's funny 45 for that and then if you like your Star Wars a lot and you need on stocking there you go for only $35 well then they have this like almost 8-bit style Christmas stuff so they have this Marvel like ugly sweater style cup for $20 you get yourself a Marvel branded Santa hat as well and then oh look at that Marvel jacket. It's kind of more wintry, not really in Christmas. Yeah. And this costs $60 for that. Then you got kind of this nice little sweater, like Kayla was saying, the sweater. Pretty cute, actually. I think making it out of there only with three shirts is not the other world, and one of them is a Christmas gift. I think with all that merchandise and how good a lot of it looked, I think ending up only with three shirts is probably a good thing, because I saw some people who were carrying around baskets full of stuff. Make one little stop into the co-op to see if there's anything in here that they've got going on Christmas-wise. So we just really want that shop, the Disney Tales shop, aka Pet Shop. So that spirit jersey, that spirit jersey they had in um, World of Disney, you can actually get that ugly yellow, blue shirt jersey and match with your dog. I just always love the holiday greetings. It's always funny because whenever I'm trying to find stuff for my cor for the Corgi or even the Golden Retriever, we always have to go with the bigger sizes. And then we have our little Delilah who fit just in that. I don't know why they don't put Halloween stuff on sale because, I mean, this stuff is just now finishing up. But, I mean, a lot of it's not dated, so they really could just use it for next year as well. But they're going to have a new lounge fly for next year, so I don't know why not. They just don't go ahead and just maybe give a little discount on it. A new Disneyland button-down shirt. And I've got to tell you what, we just booked a trip to Disneyland for the end of January. So, I may have to get this. Y'all, I don't think you realize how excited I am to go back to Disneyland, though, because it's been over five years since the last time I was out there. But I've done three cruises at that time frame, so... Gotta take what you can get. They've kind of turned the back room here into kind of a sales item, so you could buy one of these items and then get one 50% off. But they always would say the more expensive item is the one that you're going to end up buying first so but I love the more adventures out there with Kevin on it still very expensive they do have a button down I did like but I really don't need I really don't need anything that's the thing about it it's like I don't need anything do I want it absolutely and one quick shop stop to the pen trading shop because kind of have to we don't have to but we we have to so I'm not sure but I have a feeling that magic man plus was one of the biggest kind of duds. They hyped this thing up so crazy. They were talking about all the things it was going to do. And I just felt like it kind of fizzled out so quickly. They still have a Kite Tails pin. Why are you not focusing? It's kind of weird that they have this Kite Tails pin still. The Kite Tails has been gone for a little bit of time now. So, But I do love the individual like resort ones. So you got the Contemporary, Boardwalk, the Kayla said is so cute. Riverside, Coronado, Contemporary, even though there is another Contemporary up there. Yacht Club, Beach Club, Saratoga, Wilderness Lodge, 
and everything else. I just love pens. The Disney Holiday Wreath mystery boxes, and this is what you kind of get inside of each one. So if you guys want to see us open more of these, just make sure you do subscribe and follow, but also just if you want to help us out, you can donate to our PayPal as well, and we'll do some more unboxings. But then, the, so they have the, for all of the um, gingerbread houses, so they have Boardwalk, Beach Club, Contemporary, Saratoga, and Wilderness Lodge, but they are missing Grand Floridian, and I kind of had a feeling they would, so, but Kayla's going to get Saratoga Springs, because we're staying at the tree houses, which is connected to the, to the, to Saratoga Springs, so, these are, those are just so stinking cute, though. So they do have the Grand Floridian one up there, it's just not on the board out there. Okay, this is really cute. They actually have the Disney Pen Trader Shop, but then they do a pen of the day selected by someone. So today they did a little dumble with a succulent in it. That is so cute. So what I'm going to do is once we are done with our, like once we're done being here at Disney Springs, we're going to go back home and I'm actually going to do a merchandise haul of everything we bought because we may have bought too much again. And But that's kind of what happens when you have a tough week. You kind of want to buy everything and anything you can find because... It was a tough weekend, you made it through it. All right, so we just got back home and I wanted to give you guys a quick haul of what we got. We actually had two bags, but I consolidated one so it doesn't look nearly as bad, so. Gotta be fun, gotta get all this together. <laughs> all right, the very, so the first thing that we ended up getting was, it's actually something I wanted and I actually have never seen this item before. So this is brand new. It's this little vinyl from the Joey Chow collection, and it's Mickey driving the steam train. So this was $25, and I had to have this. And so um, I think I'm going to take it out of the box, because it's not a Pop Funko, but I want to show you guys what it looked like, plus it gives you a little thing on the side, on the back, to show you what it does look like. So that's the first thing I ended up, we ended up getting. Like I said, $25 for this. Next three things we ended up getting are going to be shirts. So the very first shirt is actually a shirt Kayla has been wanting for a little while. It's going to be a purple shirt, and it's going to be mini with the Walt Disney World on it. So this was part of a deal they had where you could buy two shirts for $25 each or $30 singly. So Kayla was like, well, I really want this shirt, and she got another shirt that will show you that equaled out to that. So it, and then on top of that, you get discounts. So we were able to see what it costs. So this normally said it would cost $30, but like I said, we got it for much cheaper, $25 a piece plus our discount. So this worked out really, this was a really good thing for Kayla and she's really excited about it, which is funny because they didn't have a 2X, but they had an extra large, but this extra large seems very big. So the third item we got is actually going to be the Christmas shirt that we showed you earlier. It's going to be the Walt Disney World one. And this is a really cool shirt. Like, so this was part of the same deal. So this was normally $30, but it was $25 each, plus discount we ended up getting for it. So it was a really good deal. And Kayla got this in a 2X because she likes bigger shirts and she likes it being a little bigger. But I love the little logo, little Christmas hat on top of the, the uh, Disney on it right there. It's really cute. It's also not dated, so you could wear this multiple years. Really have a thing about things being dated. And the third thing, this is going to be a Christmas present to my sister, so no one tell her what it looks like. So we ended up, she wanted this, multiple times we've taken her to Disney, and this is a shirt she sees every time. It says Home Sweet Castle. So it said Home Sweet Home. She wants this Home Sweet Castle. Because one of our favorite running jokes is when you stay at a vacation club, like my parents are, and we stay at those resorts, they always say, Welcome Home. And she's always like, It's not home. It's a hotel. And so we always run that joke. So the fact that it says Home Sweet Castle was really funny. And this ended up being... $40 for that. Now, it's a little more expensive, but again, we do have discounts to apply to that, so it's a little bit cheaper than that. And finally, we have two more items. These are going to be pen-related items. Seems about right for me and Kayla, because we always buy pens. So the first one is going to be the Simba in a Christmas box pen. This is a super cute pen. Kayla just instantly saw it, was instantly loved it, and she even said, I'm going to take a second. So she picked it up, carried it around, and said, do I really want this? And so she did. I think this is a great pen. This was a good. I think this was $12 for that plus discount. And the last pen she got, this is going to be a hefty boy. She ended up getting one of the gingerbread houses because we are not, we're not staying directly at Saratoga. We're staying at the tree houses. So she wanted to get this pen, but you can see how cute that is. So that means while we're staying at the tree house, we'll have access to seeing being at Saratoga. We'll be seeing the gingerbread house there as well. This pen was $20, but again, discounts, so it was a little bit cheaper than that. So so after showing you guys everything we got that we didn't really need, 
but we won it, so we ended up getting it. It was a good time, like I said, um, but if you guys are interested to see any more of our Disney Park adventures, we're going to leave those right there in our whole playlist. We have like 140 videos in our Disney Park playlist, and if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do hit that subscribe just right below it. With all that being said, so I do head on out to put all of this unnecessary things that we didn't need, but we got. We'll see y'all next time.